Hi, Gemini. This is Lunatic's Tarot. And this reading is for anyone who identifies with the Gemini energy during the end of May 2018. So specifically, I am recording this on May 23rd, 2018, and I in, in, intend the reading to cover through May 31st, just after the full moon in Sagittarius on the 29th and 30th, which I am sure you have all set your intentions for already. Or set goals for back when you set your intentions at the new moon, etc. <clears throat> so at the end of May, Gemini, um, and again that Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mid Heaven, anyone who identifies with the with the Gemini energy at the end of May. Um, the card covering you is the Four of Wands, a grounded, happy, comfortable home and family life. Crossed with justice in reverse. Some sort of legal complication um, invading your happy home life at the end of May, perhaps, uh, is the first most obvious read here for me. If that's the case, I think what's on your mind. Um, or what's in your crowning thoughts, so what you know when your ego is quiet, is that this is either a cycle that has been or will be repeating, or it's just something that, or you're just in a cycle that is not finished. There's something that's not not finished about, about that situation. And it, it doesn't have to necess necessarily be a legal complication. It could just be something that is unjust, lies of some sort. Possibly a severe punishment. It looks it looks like some sort of separation, possibly even divorce, is taking place at the end of the month for some Gemini out there. And um, well, there there we go. Uh, And, and that and that Gemini is of a mind to keep the home together perhaps they feel that it is it is unfinished it is painful perhaps both the partnership and the separation uh, or what or the other but it is not finished to them and again there could be some type of legal complication in the mix and it's all rooted in the Ten of Cups, so this was a very happy home. <clears throat> now this could just be a marriage and divorce of sorts. It could be a union in mind, body, and spirit, but not actually legal. But in that case, it... Um, 
it is bound by a different type of law, um, a spiritual law, um, an innate human one. It's, it was a bond of that level of that, um, of that, with that same weight, uh, if you know what I mean. In that case, it must have been something, um, must have been something that binds two people, <laughs> binds two people just as, um, like I, w I hear referred to as like a karmic relationship, a karmic tie. It must have been something that binds two people. Yeah, I, um, e yes, that's, it, it is a, it's a karmic relationship that we're talking about of sorts, for sure, um, <clears throat> um, the, the Ten of, the Ten of Cups says that it was at one time, oh, why it's so messy now, why it's so hard to, um, to get out of, to let go of, why it's so painful now, or at the end of May, is that, um, it was so happy. Maybe there are, maybe there is a family involved, maybe there are children, etc. It was so emotionally fulfilling at one point, or Gemini, maybe your memory of this person and what you had together is skewing things and so you know it feels like in the past it was based on complete emotional fulfillment or you're remembering who you thought they were so it's, it was based on an emotional fulfillment when um when they were someone else or when you thought they were someone else it could could be is that something to consider in meditation because what is unseen from this spread what's going hidden is the four of swords so this is restful contemplation showing gratitude for what is going right in your life what you do have um because it looks like you still have the comfortable home if someone has left you probably aren't that party um showing gratitude for that the people who do fill that home or and or your life um, and going into solemn med meditation to, um, to, to give thanks for those things that, that, that do support you and, and, and hold you up right now and to attract more of that and to, um, Consider if if you're if you are <clears throat> remembering someone this person this partner from your past if you are remembering them or remembering that time that was emotional fulfilling with with rose colored glasses so to speak In your recent past, you have the Knight of Swords upright, and then in your near future, you have the Two of Wands in reverse. So whether this is a, referring to a divorce, a, a romantic partnership splitting, a separation or not, some unjust, possibly legal complication is crossing your happy home. It's not finished, and in the near future, it's still holding up your plans. And that's okay, you know, the, the timing must be, the timing must be right still. The timing must call for that, for you to delay, and this is just the thing that's delaying you. This Knight of Swords in your recent past is someone looking, well, someone hasty. Okay, someone 
moving, talking, thinking, maybe acting uh, very quickly to the point of they could be hasty. Um, working with, moving with haste. Possibly it could, it could be reckless. Even in the upright, the Knight of Swords could be a little reckless. They're determined. So the Four of Wands came up again. As I'm thinking on it, that I want to clarify for the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I think it's the Knight of Swords that's actually brought this complication into your life that's not finished and is holding, continues to hold up your plans even at the full moon and a little after. Five of Swords in reverse there. So it looks like if there's fighting going on that's associated with, associated with this, the fight is actually over by the by the end of May, by the full moon and going into June. The fight will be will have subsided. The arguments, the um, there will be a truce called of sorts. Um, maybe even uh, maybe even a reconciliation or making up. Um, the conflict is resolved, though. And, um, it could just, like, again, could just be holding plans up. Um, and maybe, maybe it's just holding plans up in the sense of, you know, if there's a separation, a divorce or separation here, then someone... It's just maybe just feeling lonely there with the two of wands in reverse. Let's have a clarifier on the ten of swords in reverse. Wands is the clarifier on the Ten of Swords in reverse. Let's go ahead and put a clarifier on the Justice card in reverse, too. Okay. So here's a scenario that's standing out to me. Gemini, you still have your happy home. Okay, but, but there is a complication that's entered recent, recently. It's possibly a separation with someone, maybe maybe even a divorce, or it feels like a divorce because you thought this was the one, you were, you, you were, are bound with this person spiritually, psychically linked, etc. And they were feeling very independent, he or she. That energy was feeling very independent, maybe building... Um, enjoying their financial independence and um, in trying to I think they're an air an air energy as well Gemini Libra or Aquarius and in trying to allow their own precise and impartial truth to cut away all things untrue from their life so that they did not jeopardize what was true in their life, um, so that they did not jeopardize what they built for themselves with this beautiful Knight of Pentacles situation, which you can understand because you have your own happy home. Two great energies to come together. Um, but they, they, I think, cut you. And um, 
but they, but they, you know, it was unjust. It was severe. It was merciless. It, it's created this complication because they, you know, they cut, they made a mistake. They cut something that, that was, that was true. I think you were being true. Um, this is just, you know, one scenario for certain people and you, you know, you had a happy home and they came in, they came in quick and reckless and they've created this complication in, in your happy home and you had one together or had, you had one together or both had a vision for it. So in the future, in the near future, yeah, you're, you're one or both of you probably still feeling a little bit lonely and, and, and holding back on plans. The fighting's done. You're not finished with one another right now, but in the near future, the fighting's done. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that, um, that you're done, but Again, I think you're feeling a little lonely and holding your plans up, in fact. It doesn't mean you two are done with one another, that you're both done with one another, but the fighting is over. <clears throat> and whichever one of you I think you're, you're not finished right now and you're feeling like being bold about this. Let's see where we're at here. Okay. I think you're not you're not finished and you're feeling like making a bold you're thinking of making a bold move because you're not finished. I'm ready really to draw your advice card, but I would like to go ahead and place a clarifier on the Ten of Cups and the um, Four of Wands. I think I, you know, of course so many more scenarios could continue to unfold and continue to unfold, but <clears throat> I just want one on each of those. Yeah, again, it was a it was a perfect blending. Either if if you if you two were together in the past, or or it doesn't have to be a romantic partnership that I'm talking about. It could be a business partnership. It could be um, a friendship. It could be um, you know two family members living together, blending in that way, but, um, it was, it was a, a, a perfect blending. It felt emotionally fulfilling, either being together or the vision of the two of you being together with their, um, independence and financial independence and your established happy home. It felt like emotionally fulfilling because it was a perfect blending. I, again, I think one of you, probably them, especially if they're also an air sign, just, saw it incorrectly, just, just, um, just trying very hard to protect what they have and, and, and 
in, in, in being afraid that something unjust was going on, was being done to them, they accidentally, you know, maybe did something unjust. And here's this um, coming out as well. I'm sure that's for this one. Oh, not, not just now. So. And they were, and what maybe what you don't realize is that it would be out of fear they were sh sort of looking for fights. Um, or maybe they seemed like they were being harsh to you because they felt like, like their feelings weren't respected, their feelings weren't um, stepped on. And maybe this seems to have come up on you a lot quicker than it really did. Just something again to consider in your meditation. I think though deep in your meditation You are going to find An opportunity for happiness, okay, I think it's it's either Either a new type of love for them and understanding or respect for, for, for them their side of the situation or, or um, an opportunity for happiness and being able to see a way forward with them, without them, um, see a way past um, this this loneliness that is 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 um, an inevitable part an inevitable part of, all, of of the time following any any breakup um, any separation or this this halting of plans that's an inevitable part of any type of separation. It's like, it's like one or both of you is maybe just afraid of how good it could be together. And, and if one of you has prominent fire energy in your chart, that one of you is not finished with this. You either know that about them or you know that about yourself. Um, and I'm going to grab an advice card from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. I love this deck. I'm just using it like an oracle deck, sort of, because I'm still getting to know it. It's wonderful. This is the Deviant Moon Tarot, um, Radiant Rider Weight. I will have information about all of the decks in the description of the video. And with the Knight of Pentacles reversed on the Four of Wands, have this happy home and you're fearing lack in some way now whether it's financial or or, or, or not it might be financial it may just be and and you're fearing lack of of this person being there this love this support some resource that was there was provided for you previously you're fearing lack and you're 
grounded, happy, comfortable home um, because of this complication, because of whatever the situation brought in that had to do with someone else's financial independence. And again, you know that the situation isn't over because of a prominent, dominant, masculine, fiery energy in this situation. Either because you're not done with your fiery, dominant, masculine energy, or because that side of you is not finished with this, or you know that that part of someone else is not finished with this, you know that. You know that that is the energy that is keeping this burning. But again, again, re repeating myself, but the... <laughs> best part of this message I feel like I can I can give you is is um, the fight the fight is over even if plans are still um, needing to, to be put back into motion after this complication at the end of May the fight the fighting is over at least okay so queen of earth I'm gonna read straight out of the dreams of Gaia tarot book beautiful book that comes with this deck I think earth is the first yes again still getting to know this <clears throat> So, Queen of Earth, the Earth Mother, she's real, she's kind, she has a fertile mind, uh, reminds us that kindness is often required to seek out a motherly role model. She is the epitome of kindness, in fact. Um, she asks the question, is it time for you to enjoy the benefits of being a homebody for a while? Again, um, well, they've, the cards have fallen now, but again, meditation, that meditation time, which, like I said, I think will bring you an opportunity for happiness. It may be a situation where your plans are halted because of this other, this other person from your past, whether it's was a domestic partner or not, um, brought this complication into your life. Your plans continue to be halted, but you find that you needed your health and your mind, your, your mind, your minds, your bodies and your spirits health needed you to go within and to take this time to meditate and to find true peace, which is not finding a peaceful circumstance, right? It's being able to create peace within your mind and your heart even when chaos is going on around you. And it may be that you need to be prepared for something in your future. You need to practice that skill now. Um, what else do I have highlighted here about the Queen of Earth and the Dreams of Gaia Tarot? While you encourage and support others in their desire to better themselves, remember to do so without trying to change them. It could be relevant for some. Um, so um, seek out the advice of any wise women around you. This card encourages you to do that. Uh, whether it's a motherly, sisterly, whatever, a, a wise woman figure in your life may be good, good advice to seek now. Um, Her fertile mind and natural wisdom may be able to help you. A, a little motherly advice may unlock an answer and provide a solution. So, oh, it can also remind you to share your responsibilities. 
that might be relevant. Um, have you been have you been so focused on business undertakings and career that you have created an imbalance in your life and disconnected from your true nature? That's a great question, and I think it really brings the focus back to your happy home that shows up as the card covering you from the beginning of the spread. Focus on nurturing those very real, tangible things in your environment that you are so grateful for and thankful for. You might be lonely, life might be complicated, plans might be halted, you might be... Um, all too aware of a past emotional fulfillment, a missing someone, go within. And of course, as always, you know, show gratitude for those, those parts of your life that are still flourishing and continue to decorate your world, inner and outer, with beauty, with positive self-talk, with, with beautiful things in your environment, um, spending time with the people and on the activities and projects that, that connect you to your true nature, what truly makes you happy, who you truly are. Connect to nature that we, that at our core, we are all truly um, anchored by, stemming from, communicating with, empowered by, channeling all the time. Med I mean, my best, uh, the best advice is to, to meditate in nature and bring that into your home. You know, if, 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 if it was a person who's left your home, if it was a separation, try to make that home better than it was while they were there. You can't replace them, but you can redecorate. <laughs> Make it different and, and, and bring new, new, types of and new um, areas of joy into it but I definitely recommend also going and meditating in nature okay so I think I finally kept a reading close to the time I want it to be at close anyway uh, if you would like a personal reading with me the email is lunaticstarot at gmail.com and I see no reason why we couldn't expand from this reading, if that's what resonated, if that's what you're looking for. Um, the information about my services, etc. will also be in the description of the video. And if you're more interested in a um, another general reading, uh, I will be back with another free general reading for June probably for the entire month of June, so it will be a longer spread, again, with clarifiers and an advice card. And otherwise, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, if, you, if you'd like to, to share um, with me or in the comments um, how this resonated, I'd love to understand more of what's going on in the spread. Thank you so much for checking out the channel for seeking your tarot fix here. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm sending you so much love, and I can't wait to do another reading for you.